Hi, in this video we'll be continuing with the C-Sharp video tutorials. In this video we'll be doing the lab on some different concepts, random numbers, uh, and some other stuff. So I've already created a form here. Uh, so I took two coin pictures, uh, two picture boxes, and slid them on top of each other, like this. Whoops. Okay, this. Uh, yeah, so it should just be like that. Uh, so I have two of them. One is Head's Picture Box, the identifier, and one is called Tail's Picture Box. And then I have a flip button here. And I accidentally generated some extra event handlers. Uh, so this is flip button, this is tails picture box, so this this is extra, so I should just delete that. We don't need this for now. It's, they're probably gonna, there's probably gonna be some, uh, errors in the other code, so I'll have to delete that. Okay. So we have this, uh, so now let's do the code. So let's have a local int. Something's wrong with my keyboard again. Roger's glitching out, okay. So we have an int uh, si side up. So here we'll create a random object random rand points a new random actually we're instantiating an object here exactly the same as java then here we'll say uh, so we'll get a random int a random int in the range of zero to one. We'll say side up points to ran dot next passing in two. So two means so if you pass in two for the uh, the parameter here, then the range will be an int from zero to one. So it could only return zero or one. So another thing, another note here is that zero means tails. And one is one is set to uh, heads. So if side up points to zero, then we'll display tails up. So we'll say tails picture box dot visible set to true or points to true. Then your head's picture box, then we'd have to set the other one to false just in case. Visible, so head's picture box dot visible points to false. Here we have an else. We'll do, we'll do the opposite, so we'll say heads picture box points to true and tails picture box points to false. We can just have an exit to close the form and that's pretty much it. So what's gonna happen is that when we click the flip button, it'll show either the heads or the tails. So if I click flip the heads, uh, so this is a Canadian quarter, so with a moose on it. Uh, so if, if I click flip, the flip will show the heads. 
of the quarter and if I click flip and make sure the heads again and if I third time maybe it tails back to tails. That's pretty much it. Uh, if we create we instantiated a random object, a local int. So side up is the int. So the int's gonna point to the random number. We're just going to return a number between 0 and 1, or well, it's going to return 0 or 1. If side up points to 0, we're going to set basically set 0 to tails. So we're going to show the moose of the quarter. Uh, so if side up is not 0, which means it's pretty much only the you know, only other choice is 1, then. Uh, it's going to show the heads of uh, the coin and that's just going to so this is all happening in an event handler uh, so the event handler listens for an event such as a mouse click in this kitten uh, in this case it's a mouse click well it's a button not a mouse click it's a click of a button so when this flip button gets clicked it's going to respond to the event and that all happens with that every time it clicks the, every time the button clicks this code executes over and over again every time you click uh, so that's it so the next video we'll be talking about uh, random number seeds so thanks for watching if you guys like the video you can like and subscribe to support the channel for more programming and investing tutorials and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one take care